this is how you should spend every morning listening to beach music getting your vape on drinking some starbucks coffee it's a great vibe we're a whole vibe here on this channel anyways in the last episode we uh got some you know threats from angie on crystalline island or whatever it seems like she's definitely gonna be ice type i'm gonna go over there though and see firsthand if she's gonna be ice type because i'm gonna switch up my party accordingly if she is ice type can be scary are you ready to go to crystalline town we might not be able to come back for a while so make sure you're prepared all right i'll need more time then because actually hold on wow and they just hijacked my yacht like that so i can't fast travel anymore you bitches that's fine i want to run all the way back and get more berry ice creams i know that's stupid right but if she's saying that we can't come back for a while like those things are bomb.com so i want to i want to i want to i want to you guys also gave me a nice little tip that uh, I can just talk to Rorum to get back to Garen and I don't have to pay that one fucker anymore. So, don't know why I was wasting my money on that at all, but thank you guys for telling me. Because, yeah, you can take me here. Okay, thank you, Rorum. You're a bad bitch. And then we gotta find our handy dandy truck guy. One day we'll get fly. Just imagine that, okay? One day we will have it. Take me to Golden Leaf. Which, Golden Leaf is a vibe in and of itself as well. Very good town. And then finally, the trek up here to get the ice cream. No, Combi, no. Unless you're shiny and a female, I don't want you. And you were neither, actually, so... <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, sir. Thank you for selling the best ice cream around town. Um, I'm going to take 20 of them. That'll put me at 40 total. That I feel confident with that going to Crystalline Town or whatever. Hopefully there's something I can train over there. I'm assuming there will be since there has been like literally everywhere else. But you know, you, you never know. Okay. Kobe, I know you thought you were funny the first time, but you're not. Get out to my face. Same with you, Bidoof. Get out to my face. But how is everybody else doing? Is this your morning? What time of day is it for you? Because it's early morning for me. And I'm just out here, you know, living. Yeah, we want to go back to East Garen. Run over here. Eventually, we'll go to West Garen, I'm assuming. But for right now, it's all about the East. Alright. Take me back to Terrajuma. And then from here, we'll run our asses all the way back up. Now I wonder, actually, because it used to be. Oh, the yacht is still in here. Okay, take me to Telia Resort, then. Haha, -ha, Melio, stepping on your head. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. We're off to Crystalline. Why is it snowing on a tropical island? The ocean itself is freezing over. This is not normal. Yeah, I think we got that the moment we showed up on Tesla's table as a ghost. Well, we need to find the Isle of Angels. It should be close by. Let's look for it. And hopefully we'll get some new encounters around these parts. Oh, can't really go anywhere. I was just looking. Ew, the music's freaky deaky around here. Looks like everything's frozen, so you can't really get to much. Did you know that everyone used to come to me for my perfect direction sense? Is that so? Totally. I'm practically a natural at knowing where things are. If that's the case, then where's the Isle of the Angels? Psst, Sage, this will be good. Well, clearly, based on the uh, proportions of the rocks and the um, and all of the palm trees. Yeah, it's south from here. Yep, I made my deduction. Actually, it's not. Oh, yeah? I meant south of uh, the northern part of Avium. I'm sure. What are you all doing here? Haven't you heard about Angie? Heard about her? She invited us here. She invited you here? You need to leave right away. This place isn't safe. We're not leaving until we get what we want, which includes the Ocean Relic, Angie's Badge, and the TM for Magma Drift. TM? You're looking for a TM? Then I can help you. My name is Farah. My grandparents own a TM shop in town. Oh, shit. Please, follow me. Sweet. We may as well get this one out of the way. Venom, stop. Angie said to meet with her immediately. Since when are we listening to her? We're going to get this TM and kick her ass anyway. We're going to regret this one. Probably. She's probably going to come for us. 
Oh, I didn't even hear what she said. Grandma, Grandpa, we have guests. Fafa, what are you doing bringing strangers here? Don't you know how risky it is to bring people to our home? Angie's always watching, and we can be punished if we're found out. I know that, but these people came here looking for a specific TM. It's the one you guys have all those old copies of, the Magma Drift one. Magma Drift? Why would these people want that TM? It doesn't matter. Let's give it them what they want so they can leave. So they seemed really afraid. Is this really okay? No, it's far from okay. That's the issue. In exchange for this TM, I must ask you to drive Angie out of this town. I mean, we were already planning on doing that. That's good to know. But I don't think you understand where it's truly at stake here. Countless rangers have visited this town with the goal of arresting Angie. Not one of them returned to town. We've been become desensitized to it. But when I look at you three, I see a certain strength that, that the others have not displayed. Therefore, I believe you have a small chance. No, it's too late. She found us. She, she, she found us? You mean Angie? You three need to leave. You need to leave right now. But what about Magma Drift? Forget about it. There's no time. What was that all about? Why kick us out? We're just about to get our hands on Magma Drift, too. Far said Angie found us. We came for that TM and we're not leaving without it. Venom, wait. Oh, shit. Holy crap, I almost died. This must have been what Farah was scared of. Angie froze over the shop because we went inside there instead of the church. Oh, so she tried to save us. Whoops. That's it. I've decided we can't let this go on any longer. Angie has terrorized this place enough. We're driving her out of here. Yeah, finally. Now I'm really feeling the fire. Farah said the Isle of Angels, Angels is up north. Let's go. Hello and welcome. My name is Professor Jenner. I've always wondered something when it comes to Pokemon. Can Pokemon understand the concept of mortality? They say there's no such thing as a bad Pokemon, but can that really be true? With more than 800 species, there, are, there must be a deviant living within. One that lives off the chaos and suffering of others. But that's taboo, isn't it? To think a Pokemon would be such would be such a way by nature. Humans, too, can be overwhelmed by evil. Nurses, teachers, gym leaders, political figures, business owners, and even normal everyday people. None of us are safe. God, this is a dark outlook. None of us are safe. Okay. Well, damn, I actually did kind of want Magma Drift. Oh, okay, I can still go into the PC like normal. Angie has a bunch of curfews for us. We're not allowed outside of our houses after 7 p.m. because that's when the evil being lurks the grounds. Huh. There used to be a bell here in Crystalline. We would ring it whenever someone knew we knew had passed. Or someone would find that bell and ring it for us now. Oh, shit. That's a dark take. Hi. Oh. My. Gosh. A customer. We haven't got a customer ever since, like, the moment we arrived. <laughs> my mom is always complaining, Patty, when are you finally going to make money and support our family? I'm just like, when you finally find a stable husband who doesn't leave you in a year. Anyways, enough about that. Welcome to Angie's Bazaar and all that stuff. Would you like to chop or chat? Let's shop. Um, you don't have anything that new, but I do think I need some more great balls in my life. Just because. Everything else is locked, it looks like. So let's let's head up to the fucking church, I guess. I'm scared. Scared, scared, scared. Um, okay. Ice mechanics, we love that. Always. Just kidding, I always fucking hate ice mechanics. They drive me mad. And of course, Angie the freak likes them. She's probably all about them. I'm probably going to run into so many ice things. Hmm. I do like the creepy ice aesthetic we got going on right now, though. It is kind of cool. Church of Theolia. Someone skilled with the piano. You think that Angie's playing? It's definitely her. The way they're playing is empty and cold. I, I see. Venom, are you afraid? The hell? I'm not scared. I'm just really cold. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, you won't mind if you walk in front? Hmm, of course not. I don't know. What do you think, Sage? Is Venom scared? Nah, she's fine. Ha, <laughs> I told you. Sure, whatever. I totally don't buy it, but sure. Well, what the hell? These are the, ranger cra the rangers Crawley sent. Oh, shit. They're all frozen, huh? 
And there's Alex and Sam among them. I hope you like them. Angie placed them for you three as a welcoming gift. This is what Angie finds welcoming? Is she all right in the head? What? You don't like it? I feel like it holds a nice degree of charm. The courageous and brave rangers of Terra Juma are completely encased in eyes. The models that are supposed to represent how hope now represent despair. I think, I think it's wonderful. You know, I don't remember asking you what you thought. Who are you anyway? Where's Angie? <laughs> Angie's waiting for you in the next room. Don't keep her waiting. I want to knock her teeth in. Who does she think she is? Probably some corny maid wannabe that has nothing else to do. For the record, I'm never scared. I never get scared. Ever. Okay, that's a bit much. That means you're totally scared right now. Freaky. All of them. Crawley's not going to like that. Y you must be Angie. She's talking to you! Hey! Huh? Children of the Almighty, I am here. How does it feel to be disregarded and disrespected? It doesn't feel so good now, does it? Are we not of the, the highest priority? Rather, is the gym badge not important to you? Did you not hear Angie when she said to come here and nowhere else? We disrespected you. The hell did we do? You dare go off on your own around Crystalline Town after we invited you specifically to this church? You have a lot of nerve, Melia, Veronica, Sage. You know our names. By the way, it's Venom, not Veronica. Nonsense. You were blessed with one name only. Yes, to answer your previous question, I am Angie. I'm the gym leader of Crystalline Town and the headmistress of the Order of Arceus. Self-proclaimed leader, I'm sure. The League Administration would never allow someone like you in. And that's really saying something, considering who's actually in. She's right, incidentally. That's what gives you the right to terrorize innocent people? You're nothing but a dictator and a fraud, Angie. And we've come here to take you down. You insolent little wench! That's enough, Sarah. Y yes, Lady Angie. You three throw you, you're this, you're that, but what about yourselves? What? Sarah, the book. Of course, Lady Angie. Let's see here. Ah, yes. Let's start with you, Veronica Vassell. You know my full name. Are you stalking me? It says here that you are incredibly bold, brave, and courageous. Conversely, you are a coward, brutal, fraudulent, treacherous, and conniv conniving. If the things you say about me are true, then you are no better than I, correct? Well, where are you getting this from? You took the job of fixing the warp pads around the jungle for your own benefit. The only reason why you even gave up that money was because of Mel Melia's morals. As for Melia, it says here that you are a leader, strong, caring, and intelligent. But you also bring upon a facade that only those close to you can see past. The face of a scared and helpless girl. Nothing but fear and cowardice lies beneath. After all, you brought Sage all this way to gain badges so that they can accompany you to Valor Mountain. Completely disregarding the possibility that they may not want to in the first place. Your entire motivation is selfish and self-centered. Ugh. It's... It's not true. And as for Sage... Stop it! I don't care what that stupid book says. You claim to be a gym leader, but you hold no sense of responsibility. This isn't the way a leader is supposed to act. They're supposed to keep the community safe. They're supposed to... Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's so funny? Your ignorance is absolutely baffling. You think that just because I'm a gym leader that I'm supposed to adhere to some sort of status quo? You have the nerve to come into this church and proclaim my ignorance? Outrageous! You are incredibly naive, Melia. All of you are. Being a gym leader means nothing in the eyes of the Lord. It is simply a title. You are a regular human regardless. People have many ideals and beliefs, but there is only one that can shine brightest. God, our almighty savior, Arceus. You're insane! Perhaps I am. However, this insanity is born from the sanity that is Arceus. Veronica. It's Venom. Melia. Sage. Show me your darkness that I may bring you to the light. A dimensional rift? Yeah! It's... it's so cold. Ugh, my head. Sage, is that you? Where the hell are we? Weren't we just in Angie's church with... Oh god, where's Melia? She was just here. Come on. She could be anywhere. We need to start looking. What the fuck is this? 
Why do you look so sus, Yachi Berries? Huh? Anyways. <laughs> um, this is Freaky Deaky. Melia, thank God you're alright. Melia, are you alright? You're not hurt or anything, right? Melia? Predictable. Unfortunately predictable. What is it about people that allows them to be lured and deceived so easily? It's incredibly distasteful. That aside, welcome to the Tower of Theolia. Know that your ideals only shine through if you make it that way. As for your companions, they are safe. For now. They are stashed away deep within the corridors of this tower. If your ideals truly shine through most, prove it. Face me with those rooms and rescue your friends. Until then, farewell, Sage. Okay, so this is like straight up a dungeon then? I'm down for it, ho. At least we have a heal point right here, so that's good. Theolia Floor 2. So, I... I feel like I need to build up an anti-ice team, and it's going to suck because, um, well, obviously there's not much to, god damn it. What am I trying to say? Um, it's going to be hard to grind here, was the main point I was getting at, because it's going to be just right, ooh, frost breath, that's not bad. So if they just go with my regular team, that's going to suck. Cause I don't really have, I mean, I have Pyroar. Is that the truest reflection of your heart, Veronica? I refu refuse to believe that this is fact. Show me your truest reflection. My, my, my name is Veronica Vasil. I'm here to play a song for you, Angie. P please die. Please die already. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Seems we still have a lot of work to do here, Veronica. Keep playing. I assure you that one day you'll get it right. Ew. This beat is quite sick, isn't it? Oh my. <laughs> oh, okay. What a stubborn lass this one is. Why won't she open her heart to Arceus? Arceus wishes the best for their loyal subjects. Oh god. This is getting freaky, huh? You must interrupt the show. Angie isn't finished playing with Veronica yet. Alright, hello. I appreciate your Pidgeot here, but uh, I'm gonna kill it. Oh, every all fire is weaker in here looking like... A knocked owl, eh? Send in Beacom. That's the way you're gonna play. This is how I'm gonna play. Are you kidding? Die, potato. Get that shit out of here. Why, why would you interrupt such a beautiful concert? Hold on, I need to go heal. So obviously, Fire's power is weakened in here. Alright, I ended up fumbling around with the ice, so I figure I'll probably just cut that out or speed it up or something, because you guys don't want to see that too many times, but we're all healed. Excuse me, but the current show is not over yet. God damn it, lady. Attendees are required to stay on the lowest floor. And no, I'm ready to end the show. Is that so? Then present us the finale. I am a selfish girl who only thinks of herself, who, who cares about Melly or Sage. I, I don't. I, I should be sacrificed to Arceus because I don't deserve the gift of life that I was given. I I want to be cleansed. I'm happy and extremely proud to hear you say that. Your sacrifice shall be a great one. Arceus shall be pleased. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know about all that. She are you trying to sacrifice our friends? Hmm. You are, s you are much quicker than I initially anticipated, but no matter. Things are going accordingly. Screw you for making me say those things before, Angie. Who the hell do you think you are? I did not say those words. Those words came from the bottom of your heart. Those words weren't true. I care about Sage and Melia. Say what you will. They do not matter in the long run. I shall not be interrupted during this ritual. Maids, please occupy Sage's time for a short while. As you wish, Lady Angie. We shall show you the power Arceus has bestowed upon us. We shall not fail. Do not fail me, maids. This shall only take a moment. Okay, double battle in with mages. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. I feel like out of the two, for me, Avalug is the obvious, like, first scary thing. Obviously, firepower is weakened here. But we still got Avalug out. Oh, you got Toxic. That's kind of rude. Aurorus, that's scary because he's part rock. So I'm going to switch to Vika, especially because you're poisoned. And then let's do Liquidation on Aurorus. And hopefully that's good. Nice. Okay. Taylor, level 50. We love to see you here, finally. 
Okay, let's do Thunderbolt with you and then with Taylor. Let's just heal you up, girl. Where's my berry ice creams? There they are. I got 40 of them. Here you go. Nice. Goodbye. Armaldo. He's bug water, right? I think I remember that correctly. Doesn't matter. He's dead. And you will be furious with me. Arceus, I failed thee. Lady Angie, it seems as though we have failed. Hmm, that is quite unfortunate. For you. And for you. What? What is wrong with you, lady? There is nothing wrong with me. You are all the ones who have been tainted by evil. You're crazy. You just killed two of your own loyal servants. Why the hell would you do that? They failed their mission, and therefore they were no longer useful. I explained to Sage earlier about my ideals. They can only shine if you make it that way. I tend to make the mine shine brightest. You may have been successful now, but don't hold on to that patheti pathetic sentiment. In the end, I shall reign superior and sacrifice your trained souls back to Arceus, where they belong. To hell with you, you dumb fucking ideals. <laughs> no one gives a living shit about them. Where's Melia? I know you have her. You'd best learn to watch your mouth and learn your place, peasant. It is true that Melia is in my possession. She is safe for the time being. But will she be for long? Let's find out. What the hell is the deal with all of this? Sage, we have to hurry. We have to save, Me save Melia. I couldn't save her last time, but this time I'm determined. Well, that's good. I'm going to go heal because that bitch poisoned me. Excuse me. We're, we're going to the healing routes. Alright. I got back here. You're gonna cut out the ice physics shit again. Um, let's see. What's around these parts? Ooh, I do not like. Oh, that cracked. Looks like we're outside again. We're so high up already. Looking down at the ground is just so. I don't even want to acknowledge it. Achoo! God damn it. It's so damn cold. I miss Terra Juma already. Speaking of which, where are we? This can't be Terra Juma Island anymore. I can't even see the ocean. It's just one endless stream of trees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did the tower just shake? Why did the tower just rumble? That can't be good, right? Shit. Ugh, of course it would be as soon as I look over the edge. Let's just keep going. Venom, you kind of are a scaredy cat, huh? I mean, Angie wasn't wrong about that. Alright, floor three. Here we are. Hey, you two. Yeah, you two, over here. What the? Who the hell are you? My name is Chris. You gotta help me get out of here. I've been trapped here for quite some time. I don't really feel like being here anymore. Uh, excuse you? I don't have to do anything. Don't be that way. Let me out of this instant. Do you think I'm dangerous or something? Considering what we've been through and where we are, hell yes. Touche. Whatever. Let's put our useless animosity aside for the time being, alright? We can't afford to be enemies when there's a bigger evil out there, as you may have already noticed. Ugh. I don't care about all of that. All I care about is getting Sage, Melia, and myself out of here. Where do you expect to go? I don't know if you realize this, but we're not in Crystalline Town. This place, this world, it doesn't exist. It's all part of Angie. I don't know how she did it, or why. But the more we stay here, the worse it's going to be. Sage, what should we do? It could be trapped it could be a trap placed by Angie to trick us. Isn't this placement kind of convenient? It's impossible the moment we let him out. Oh, it's possible that the moment that we let him out, he'll try to attack. He could just be someone who had shitty luck and is in the same situation we're in. Your call. Let's free him. Fuck it. I'll beat his ass if I need to. All right, let's free him out of this prison. Hey, Chris, today's your lucky day, man. You're about to get let go early for good behavior. Oh, wow. I'm overwhelmed with happiness. Please just get me out of here. I want to say I've heard the name Chris before. I think that was the gym leader before Angie took over. Thanks for freeing me back there. I'll make it up to you someday, but I think it would be appropriate to give you something now, so why don't you take this? Oh, rock climb. Nice. You need seven badges to use this, but uh, it's good enough. Parting gift? Yes, parting gift as it, as this is where we part. See ya. Hey, wait. Ugh, what a waste of time. Come on, Sage. No, we've seen lots of rock climb spots. And rock climb could be a good move. Yeah, it's normal, physical, the accuracy isn't the best, but that's a really strong move for Teddy to have right now, because he gets stabbed on, oh, encounter, oh, Sphiel, I already have something in your chain, so that's dupes claws, Sphiel, I already have something in your chain, so that's dupes claws, a 
deli bird. Okay, I'll take a deli bird. That was easy. I'm gonna call him Ass Santa because he's not a good Santa. He's actually ass at it. So there you go. Ass Santa it is. I totally see that door behind the curtains, but it's fine. Is her like psyche breaking right now? Is that what's happening? Because that's kind of how I feel. Everyone, I have exciting news. A new guest has arrived. Let's see what's inside of her heart. Please step forward, Melia. Melia! Melia, please show us what is in your heart. I don't want to lose everything again. I don't want to have any friends because they'll hold me back. What about Sage and Venom? I could care less about them. They're a burden and I wish they'd never met me. Don't listen to her, Sage. Angie is making her say those things. These words come from the heart, not from me. I've, I haven't intervened. Gah! D don't listen to her! You manipulative woman! Don't do that ever again! Unfortunately, that was the wrong answer. What? But Melia! Yeah, she's trying to like psychologically fuck with all of them. You two are incredibly persistent. Could it be possible that your de ideals mirror mine? No, that's impossible. You are merely hard-headed and stubborn. We played this little game of chase, but it ends here. <laughs> no matter. Maids, do your job and occupy Sage. This time I shall be successful. Azaria and Rebecca weren't able to stop you, but we shall not fail. Fine, you want to play? Let's play. Do I have Venom this time, or is it still just me? Oh, I have Venom. Ice Q and Zeb Striker. I'm still going to do Flamethrower, even though, you know, it's not going to be the most useful in this terrain. I still feel like I can do it. Oh, that knockoff was scary. That wild charge was scary, too. Nice. Well, good for you, mute Muck. Ooh, a Wobbuffet. Fuck that. Let's go ahead and do a Berry Ice Cream on Litten, because I'm not willing to use lose Litten anytime soon. Oh, it did dive. You see that shit? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Trying to think of the best course of action here. Let's just... What? Oh, Wobbuffet's Shadow Tag. Fuck. Alright, let's just get Litten healed up as much as I can then. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Alright, let's do Flamethrower on Ice Q again. Oh. Yo, bitch, why would you do Sludge Wave to me? Well, this isn't good. Yeah, that Wobbuffet is out here using Ice... I mean, Counter and Miracle. That's scary. Alright, let's do Flamethrower on Ice Q. Get out of here. Fucking bastard. Alright, let's just do... Let's work up real quick. Oof, that muck got hit. Let's flamethrower you. Because I've been able to build up. There we go. Whew, I was scared. This is the end, isn't it? I shall enter eternal slumber now. They fucking know. It seems we have failed as well. How concerning. You both have done well, supplying me ample amount of time, but you failed your mission regardless. Your role in this life has ended. I am satisfied. May God be with you. Farewell, Angie. Ugh, what is this feeling? This is so weird. Unfortunately for you, Sage, Veronica, the preparations for the ritual are complete. The ritual shall begin now. RCS! It is time! Time for you to take back what is yours! Show you her eternal greatness! Show her eternal life! Show her the true way to live! This is for you, Arceus, a sacrifice in my name, Angie Theolia! This... Such a familiar feeling. Angie, please, stop! I've seen this before. Take her now! No, I've experienced this before! What? What is this resistance? Ugh! Melia! What are you doing? How are you able to do this? Who? What are you? Get away from me! Yeah! What, what happened to the light? M Melia, where are you? Shit, looks like Melia fought the fuck back. 
as she should. Well, I'm kind of scared to leave it here, but we'll find out what happens with Melia and all that good stuff in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Make sure to smash that like button for me to show your support for the series. I don't know what's going to happen, but this is probably the gym that everybody warned me about that is super scary. So, yeah, I'm ready, I guess. I, I'm not. I don't have an ice-based team, and it doesn't look like I'm switching my team up and train, really, but we'll work on it, okay? Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one.